What's up, guys? I'm Jonathan. And uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm making this video because I want to speak my mind and my thoughts on the results of the 2016 presidential election and the aftermath of the choice. So uh, basically, just to start off with, um, I'm not gonna, it might sound like a little biased, but I'm gonna try not to be. I'm just gonna try and point out the facts and the truth. Um, but if I sound a little bit biased, I'm sorry, uh, but I'm gonna try not to. So uh, Tuesday, November 8th, we had our uh, multiple elections per state, you know, just bringing up different things. But obviously the main thing was uh, who is going to be the next president of the United States of America, the 45th president. And after eight years of Barack Obama in office, we had on the Democrat side, Hillary Clinton and the Republican side, Donald Trump. And we voted people, the country, uh, ended up voting and, and the winner of the electoral college was uh, Donald Trump. And I just wanna start by saying I'm not a Trump supporter, but I voted for Donald Trump because I could not in my right mind, right conscience just vote for Hillary Clinton and sleep well at night. I don't, she, uh, I want to keep an open mind, but I could not vote for Hillary Clinton, first of all, based on what I believe in, because we all, you know, there's a left side and a right side in politics. You know, the left is usually associated with, you know, liberals, Democrats, and then the right side is uh, conservative uh, Republicans, you know, something like that. And the left side, you know, that's who they put for their candidate. And I could not disagree with her more on all very pretty much if not all of the issues at hand um so just want to get that out there that i didn't vote for did not i didn't vote for donald trump because hillary clinton was a woman that is probably and there's probably some people out there who did because there are some people who are either brought up saying you know thinking that a woman shouldn't be in power I am all for a woman, you know, being coming president. If I'll vote for a woman. I was just talking to my dad this morning. I'll vote for a woman if I agree with her 100%. I'll even vote, I'll, I'll vote for the third party if I agree with them 100%. Uh, but, but until such a point, I'm most likely going to vote Republican because most likely I agree with them more than I agree with anyone else. And so for those of you who think that mo a lot of us didn't vote for Hillary because she's a woman, you guys are, that's just stupid. That is, that's not even like, we're not looking at her sex, what gender she is. We were looking at what we believe as a people should happen, what we believe as a people, you know, we, we, we were sick and tired of these typical politicians who haven't done anything for the country. People say America's great. I agree with that. America could be way better, way greater, but we have sat on our butts and done absolutely nothing to help ourselves. We're so focused on everybody else's problems, we can't fix our own internal issues. So I couldn't vote for Hillary based on the fact that I disagree with her on everything. And I can't vote for Hillary because I wanted someone who might actually do something in office. Barack Obama hasn't done anything. And if you think Obamacare was good, I don't think the people who thought it was good are agreeing with you now. The people who have it, majority of them, I guarantee, are sick of it. They found out this year that, yeah, it's not as all it's cracked up to be. They're starting to pay for it heavily. So, you know, it was good for a time, but then it shows its true head. Typical political bullcrap. And to be honest, Trump's going to do probably a lot of that, but I'm going to get into that later. But I just wanted to say I could not vote for Hillary based on my beliefs and that I don't think she was the right person for the job. So 
Uh, if any liberal is, or Democrat is watching out there, that's what I wanted to tell you. It's not by bi I'm not biased towards her being a woman. I'm biased against what she believes compared to what I believe. Okay, out of the way. Donald Trump. Oh my gosh. I don't know why we did. I mean, if Ted Cruz was in, I don't think he would have won. But Donald Trump helped further along a movement in the country that people are sick and tired of the higher ups treating us middle class folk, the backbone of this country, like garbage. We people who don't have a voice are tired of the people who have a voice treating us like garbage. All these celebrities, these people, it's because I'm on YouTube a lot, see all these YouTubers treating the people who disagree with them or the people who aren't famous or making as much money as them like garbage. Like, we're done with that. We are absolutely sick and tired of the higher ups treating us like garbage. So, but I don't think Donald Trump's the answer. I'm not happy he's president of the United States or president elect. I'm not happy with that. But like I just said, I could not vote for Hillary. I couldn't, and I didn't want to vote for any of the uh, third party members because I didn't agree with them at all. I agreed with some of the Trump stuff Trump was saying, you know, pro-gun, pro-life, all that stuff. He said he's going to get rid of Obamacare. He says he's going to get rid of Muslims. He says he's going to do a lot of this stuff. Now, first of all, I'm just terrified as hell as the rest of you guys about ISIS. You know, I think if a group of a thousand refugees came in here, a hundred of those are going to be ISIS agents, maybe less, maybe more, maybe only one. They're here now. But... How he wants to do it, I believe, is wrong. I don't know how we could do that to make our country more safe, but I don't think we should be getting rid of an entire group of people because that is segregation. That is bad. I'm not... I think somehow we should be able to find out if they have some form of ties. To, I, I don't know how that's going to work, but... Um, shoot, lost my train of thought. Uh... But no, just yesterday or the day before, whatever day he met met with President Obama, or I think it was yesterday, he's keeping parts of Obamacare. Like, he, th he will be keeping parts of Obamacare. And I don't know if this is true. I just saw this on the internet that a guy said, stated uh, his post saying, hey, liberals, with a picture of a woman, uh, apparently a gay man politician and uh ben carson i don't know who the other two are but those are the first three people in trump's cabinet a woman a homosexual and a and an african-american male all of whom are in an uproar and protesting because trump is apparently this monster he can't be a monster unless he's a dictator and there's no way in our form of oh there's ways to do it but i don't think he has i don't think he's going to become a dictator in fact i don't even think the republicans are going to be happy with what he decides to do because kind of like i thought as soon as i voted for him as soon as i saw him win i was like you know what he's probably going to conform to the voices of the liberals because they're in an uproar and most politicians are sellouts. Just, just saying, Bruce Pollard. Um, so I'm not happy Trump's president. I thought it'd be the lesser of two evils, and I still think it will be. I think he's going to do some good. Just give the guy a chance. Like all this hate that has been on the internet lately, this past few days, because the liberals are pissed off that Donald Trump won because there was a 98% chance Hillary Clinton would win. And obviously that's going to lessen a little bit come, you know, election just with any polls. But the majority of the, I think all the polls said Hillary Clinton was going to become president. And she didn't. So the people who support her, you know, I'm saying I feel for you. I do honestly feel for you that you put your heart and soul into your candidate and they lost. I feel for you. But, and peaceful protests are fine, but all this, 
destruction you guys are doing is bull. Like, you accuse the Trump supporters of being hateful. Um, just some of these awful words. I don't even want to say that they're that. But you're becoming the exact same thing. You are doing the exact same thing y'all accuse Trump supporters of doing. So you, I'm calling you every liberal out who is doing this, who is supporting this. You are the biggest bunch of hypocrites on the face of the planet right now. This is where my bias comes in, maybe. I don't know. But if you say one thing and and say one thing, this thing is bad, and then you go out and do the same thing, what the heck does that make you? It makes you exactly what you claimed someone else to be, who you said you weren't. But you do the same thing because you think it's okay. The celebrities, the higher-ups are in an uproar because Trump won. You didn't get your way, so you're having a hissy fit. You're saying, not my president. Have respect for the man. Come on. He is going to be the president of the United States. He deserves some inkling of respect. He is going to be the 45th president of the United States. You know what that means? Only 44 others in the American history have had title of president. So that means only 45 people, If when he gets uh, um, put in the White House officially, he will be a part of a... You, a group of people, it's under 50 right now. And which what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is whether you like him or not, whether you think he's something or not, I don't think he's something special, but because he's going to be president of the United States, he is going to be a unique individual in our history because only 44 others have done it. And he won, and it, and it was a historical win because he won some states in the electoral college that he wasn't supposed to. People didn't think. He won Ohio. He won North Carolina. He won Florida. He won Pennsylvania. Those are the four reasons, four states of why he won. And for those of you who are saying, oh, the Electoral College needs to, you know, be fixed or needs to be different. The only reason you're saying that is because Hillary Clinton lost. If Hillary Clinton had won and the Trump supporters were saying the Electoral College needs to be fixed, this is rigged. You would be calling us what probably we're calling you or you're calling us. So it's like, I'm going to call the liberals out because you say one thing. You are preaching that we need change. We need to be accepting. And well, guess what? Here's the change. Donald Trump has no political uh, background. And so that makes him unqualified for the job. But we thought we could do a good job because we're sick of politicians coming from your half of the world. And so, two, you, you, you say accept. Accept him. Accept him. Unless he is killed, he is going to be president of the United States. Unless he's killed or just dies of old age because he is 70. So unless he, for whatever reason, doesn't take office, he is going to be president of the United States. Accept it accept it. Practice what you preach, you hypocrites. And I want to talk about more, but I don't know how much film I have for my phone. But I just wanted to say, guys, look, I am deeply saddened and angered by everything, all the posts I have seen on social media, all the things people are talking about. And I'm deeply worried about the outcome of this for many different reasons, which I might cover in a different video. I don't know if I'm going to do any more of these, but I just needed to vent really because there's no one around here that I'm going to talk to that is going to be impacted by this. So maybe I'm not telling the Democrats and the liberals to change their ways. You can believe whatever you want to believe. However, with what you preach, practice it. Be more open-minded with Trump because Quite frankly, Trump's not going to be conservative, and I don't think he's going to be liberal either. I think Trump's going to be a unique breed of his own, and both Democrats and Republicans are not going to want Trump to try some of the things he wants to try. And for the record, he's taken the Muslim ban off of his website, so he's not going to go through that. There's no way he could have a successful presidency and want to do that. And from what I understood, from what I heard in his acceptance speech, I truly 100% believe he was humbled by it because not everyone can walk the streets and say, I ran for president of the United States and can say, I won. So 
you know, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting next four years once he is put into the White House. I think January 20th, 20th, January 20th. So we got some time. I hope by then you all who are so terrified of him will realize that he really can't do a lot of the things he says he's going to do. But, um, and to the people on the right, as in, you know, left and right, you know, he's not going to be what you might think he would be. I think he said a lot of things just so we would believe him. So maybe he's more of a politician than we thought. So who knows, guys, but, you know, if you want me to make another video, you know, I'm thinking of changing my Instagram into more of a one to two two posts a week blog where I talk about things I believe in. And um, I think I'm going to make a YouTube video every once in a while. I mean, this, I, I wanted to talk about more and I wanted to be a bit more boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to get better at this if I try to do more. But let me know what you guys think of the comment section down below. You don't have to like this video. You don't have to subscribe. But um, thank you to anyone who watched this. But I do want your opinion and what you think about the Trump being elected, what I kind of said about Hillary, what I said about the Democrat slash liberal half. Um, and I'll I want a conversation with you. So uh, thank you to those who watch. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you hearing me out. So have a good day.